them. And the Miku's gone. Okay, hello, hi, how's it going? Hope you're doing all right. So here we are, day three of Weebmas. I will be quite honest, I had absolutely no idea what I wanted to do today. I've kind of got a list of things that I want to do. So I'm kind of like picking and choosing from that on each day. Very, very unorganized, but that's pretty much me in a nutshell. But I did get thinking and I thought, the point of Weebmas is to kind of reminisce over the past year, stand out moments, special things to each individual person. And so I thought I could just talk about a specific Trade Me deal that happened this year. Trade Me being like an online auction house type thing. Um, probably the easiest way to explain it. It's a New Zealand website where I ended up getting 13... That's not 13, I don't have enough fingers for 13. But 13 figures in uh, one auction for half the price of the figures that I wanted, yet alone all of them. So I'll uh, go grab all those figures real quick and I'll be back. Okay, so I'm back, I got the stuff, and it is really hot in here, so I'm gonna try to get this done quick. So while I was on Trade Me, I was just kind of perusing the stuff, seeing what there was that was any good, and one day I saw a $1 reserve for 13 figures, these 13 figures here, and I was like, hey, that's pretty cool, but are there any good figures in there, and are they genuine? Because that's pretty important as far as I'm concerned. So I did a little bit of research, I had a look at what all the figures were, and there actually were like at least half that I really wanted. Since there was one from No Game No Life, while I don't like the show, I like the art style. Um, at least with the figures, because the, the No Game No Life figures look fucking beautiful. Um, there was also a Yoshino in there, and an Ilya, and some Yuri Yuri figures. They were kind of a big driving factor. They were prize figures but they were still Yuri Yuri figures. Most importantly, they had Kyoko, so I wanted it. So yeah, I put that on my watch list and I saw like gradually it would go up. It started at $1, went up to 50, kind of went up a bit more. Um, and I put a few bids in here and there and then it eventually got up to like 200 and it was the day of the auction finishing. And I'm like, oh, maybe we could like kind of get into this. And during the last wee bit, there was one person that kept auctioning against me because, you know, it's a fucking auction. Of course, if they want it, they're going to put more money into it. But eventually I ended up winning it. Not at $1, obviously, because fuck, getting 13 figures at $1 would be amazing. But I ended up getting them for 350 New Zealand. So, not very expensive. Especially considering all up for all the ones I specifically wanted, it was 600 and something new. So... I thought that was a good deal. I essentially got them for like half price, plus extras. So um, I guess I should kind of just show you exactly what I got during that auction, kind of give my thoughts on them, um, kind of say what I cared about, what I didn't care about, and one thing in particular that I was very disappointed in. So let's have a look at them real quick. Okay, so we'll grab the first three, the smallest ones here, which were kind of just involved in it. Um, I didn't really care for them too much on purchase, but they're they're still pretty cute. I have them around the place. So I got these three here. You got Asuka, um, the main character from Lucky Star, and I have no idea who the hell that character is there on the end there. But these were the first... These, these are three. They were kind of just included in it. She looks kind of cool, though. She looks nice and detailed. So they were pretty cute. They were, they were nice. I didn't really care about them on the purchase, but it was a nice inclusion. Another one that I didn't really care about, and now care about even less, uh, to be quite fair, is there was uh, this character here. Um, they kind of look like Shana from Shakugan no Shana. Um, she's still in the box for a very good reason. That being because the pin in her foot is broken. It kind of snapped when I tried to stand her up, um, which kind of sucked. But also, I'm pretty sure this figure is fake. Um, reason being because the box completely does not look right and you've got the price sticker there from um, what I assume probably was an Armageddon during the past years and this looks very much like a fake vendor um, or from a fake vendor so I was kind of just like eh plus the hair quality is absolute trash it's very thick and gross uh, so I was just like you know what we don't need to keep it so we can just th throw it somewhere else I don't care with a couple of figures that I did care about though, and actually was interested in, 
We've got these two figures here of, uh, was it Gakao Rudi or Koro Neko, I think her name was in the show. So we've got the two figures of her here. You've got one in like a very nice dressing gown, I think it is, like a sleeping outfit, I guess. Very, very cute. So I thought she was pretty, pretty nice to get. And then you also had this version of her here, um, just in a typical like goth Lolita type fashion. Um, I was kind of miffed with this one though, because if you have a look real close, the paint looks absolutely horrid. It's a very bad paint job, it's really patchy, so... It sucks because the face itself actually looks really nice. It's pretty well detailed, it's pretty clean there. It's just the entire outfit looks quite gross, to be quite fair. It's just real patchy and unappealing as far as things go, so... I've kind of had her up at the back there with a lot of my non-genuine figures which i know are non-genuine even though she is real apparently and then she's just been over on my main shelf just over there uh next one which also stays at the back there is this saber figure she is the uh saber dress code i think it says that on the base right here at the very bottom if it focuses maybe maybe that's focused i don't know but yeah this was also included with it and um I was pretty interested in it because it was one of the more expensive figures um, that was part of the auction. However, because of how flimsy the base is, because this thing is super, super dinky and doesn't even have the branding and stuff at the bottom, so it has nothing written saying, oh yeah, this was done by so-and-so company with all the other uh, words and whatnot, I am like 90% sure this is fake. Because it sucks because the box itself looks right. Since this is the box right here, and I will put on screen what the box is meant to look like, um, you can see that they look accurate. They look the same. It even has the altar logos and all the stuff. So going by this, you would assume that it is real. But based on the base and the fact that she looks just a little bit too shiny in some places to be right, I'm just not sure if I got a real figure with this one here. So I'm just not willing to say, yeah, I've got a real one of these. It's a bit flimsy, it kind of falls off the base. And I would have assumed for a figure like this, it would have had like metal pins in the feet um, rather than what it is. It still looks really nice though. It just leaves me questioning a bit too much whether or not it's real. So I'm just not gonna put it up with the main stuff. Okay, we got four more left. And so now we have uh, this figure here from Toho. I cannot remember her name uh, in the slightest right now, but that's what she looks like. She's got a really nice detail of those eye tentacle things going around the place. They're not tentacles, they're more of like strings, I guess. Um, but this one was included. This was kind of one of the ones that I really kind of wanted, not like massively. But I thought, yeah, it'll, it'll be nice to have. Um, and so, yeah, we, we got we got her if i take her up the stand or bring her up right close you can kind of see that she does look quite nice very well detailed um especially considering i think she's a seven thousand yen figure seven thousand two hundred or something but the one downside really is the fact that her base is uh fucking huge so trying to fit her in somewhere on my shelf with other stuff which is an absolute clusterfuck of plastic all over the place it kind of makes it hard to kind of organize and put her in a nice place considering she's quite short but she takes up a lot of space ground wise but yeah she is pretty cool i liked her and now we have a shinobu figure i haven't actually watched monogatari as of the moment maybe at some point i think i have a couple monogatari series on my shelf somewhere but we have this she is kind of cute the hat is magnetized so so you know it's not gonna fall off. Her donut's gonna come out of her hand though. That's unfortunate. But this is a really, really nice figure in my opinion. If you have a look at her right there, she's got all of the quirks that you want. I don't know what the quirks you want are, but she's got them right there. I saw her and I thought, you know what? Yeah, she she's a good tick for dedicating to this auction. Next figure, I guess, is a bit more questionable. I don't know, but as a figure of Shiro, from No Game No Life. Um, a little bit of the schmutty side, um, 
But you know what? I don't care. Because, you know, who, who cares about that, that underwear stuff? Especially if you look at the other elements of the figure, like if you look at their hoodie, that has got some really nice detail on it. As well as the hair, the coloration change, that gradient from the blue to the green and all throughout. I'm not a fan of the original series, but I thought that this, regardless, and also regardless of, you know, what it depicts, is done really well and was very much worth adding to my ticks for getting the auction, especially since this new is a 13,000 yen figure plus. So second hand and really good quality, I was like, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, gotta get it, gotta get it. She is really, really good, really nice. And lastly, we have got an Ilya figure right here. Would you look at that? Um, this one was actually kind of the main driving focus in getting the auction initially. She was kind of what caught my eye um, from the get-go because I think, you know, despite how weird the Prisma Ilya series is, it is hella adorable. And so this was like my fourth, third or fourth, um, genuine Ilya figure. I've got like another one back there, which was fake before I kind of focused on real and fake figures and caring about any of that. But yeah, we've got the Beast Girl version of her right here and she's really, really good, really nice. Plus also, who doesn't like the good beast version of the of the Prisma Ilya characters. I have another um, another figure of this version over here on my shelf over there um, that goes with Kuro, kind of just, she's kind of like that, well, that. I'll put a picture of her on screen, um, but that's the other version that I have of her. And so now I've got this one. And this was the 13th and final figure that I got out of that auction. So yeah, that was all 13 figures. You can kind of see why it was kind of stand out for me. Since five of those figures alone costed $600 plus New Zealand, um, whereas I got the entire auction for 350. Um, and since I don't know how much figures go down in value or up in value, I thought that was a pretty good deal considering what I got. So I was chuffed. And yeah, I don't know how I can milk this video any longer, and I probably shouldn't, so I'm gonna go and edit this now, and uh, probably finish this video late. But, you know what, that's life. But yeah, that's more or less all I have to say today. So um, in the meantime, I'm gonna sell out so, and tell you to subscribe, because I can. Because that apparently is a thing people do. Go follow me on all the social media and stuff down below. I don't use any of it, except Except for my figurine collection and my kitsu, which is kind of like Mal, but it looks nicer. Join the Discord and help me grow a community, because fucked if I know how to. Feel free to join and help grow it for me. Make it an active place, because I sure as hell aren't helping that. And yeah, that that's, that's it. Until tomorrow and day four, I will see you later. Bye. Get out of the way, Miku, you're in the way.